Kobe, Tyler, and uh, excuse me, Eric, my bad. And we'll get it, we'll start it off with questions in the room. Uh, tonight, kind of a good example of the depth of this team. This guy gets in foul trouble early, doesn't have the best offensive night, but you know, the team really kind of picks up around him. All three of you have good offensive nights. It's just kind of a good example of what this team can be. Guys picking each other up and you know, whoever's feeling it just does it. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's the motto of this team, next man up. You know, if one of us, you know, gets in foul trouble like Scott did, uh, you got to have people like Sebastian who steps up, you know, be able to play the minutes that, um, that he got, you know, and be able to contribute when the season went. Uh, Kobe, a lot of famous guys have won that zero for UCLA. You know, tonight you really display a scrappiness that you've shown throughout your career so far. Uh, talk a little bit about that and what, you know, you bring to the table here. Yeah, um, you know, I was brought here just to bring that energy, uh, bring that leadership, uh, bring that grittiness. Uh, that's exactly what Coach wanted me to do uh, when I came here. So, you know, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to, you know, help this team win, you know, try to, you know, leave a mark, you know, with this team uh, and this history. Um, you know, just try to do whatever, you know. We got a great group of guys, and I think we can do something really special. So, you know, I'm just trying to do whatever we can uh, to help, you know, help us win. Eric, Coach Cronin said that the team struggled to rebound when you weren't out, like, out there on the court. What's your mindset when it comes to rebounding and then also just playing defense? Um, I think you know, defense is effort. I just go out there and try to play as hard as I can. Um, you know, I'm a big body, so I got to use my body and, you know, the best way I can. And getting boards is one of the things I, I can do very well. Everybody on the team, team can rebound, though. Um, you know, we're playing, everybody's going to get boards. Our guards are going to rebound. Um, it's just, it's part of the game, like, the rebound's a big part of, the, of this team, so just playing hard, and um, that's, just, that's just what I love to do, man, to play hard. First four minutes, you guys forced four turnovers, uh, did some trapping in the first half, not as much in the second half, but you feel like you guys kind of showed tonight some, some glimpses of, of what this defense can be? Absolutely. Uh, I think we can be a scrappy team. I think we showed that tonight. I think we show uh, that we can turn teams over a whole lot and you know, create offense from that. So as long as we can get, uh, just keep doing that, we'll be in a great position. Tyler, when you, when you catch the ball in the post and you go up with it really quickly without even dribbling, like what do you see in those situations when you know, you're reading the defense and you just go up right with that shot? Yeah, um, it all starts with you know, my teammates you know, get, finding me. like good passes and stuff, but yeah, like you said, just facing up. Um, trying to see what the defense is giving me, um, guys helping, kicking it out, or, you know, if he's giving me one-on-one -on -one or giving me space, then I can, I can just let it go and um, something that I work at, so, yeah. Tyler, when you're matching up against someone, would you rather face someone who's kind of big that you could take outside, or would you rather take someone smaller inside? Um, it, for me, uh, I, I would say it doesn't doesn't really matter. Just try to try to do um, what's what's best for the team, and that's like you know having small guys in matchup, being able to post them up, or having having a bigger guy um, being able to take him more to the perimeter. I think uh, you know just just either one. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what how how close do you think this team is to like finding itself, how, or how far away? Uh, no, I think I think we're really close. Um, we put put a lot of good work in uh, this summer and, and you know this preseason and stuff. Uh, we're a really close knit group. Um, you know we all love each other and stuff, and we all go at it and practice, try to make each other better every day. So um, you know we just got to keep building uh, day by day. Um, just focus, keep focusing on the next day, next game. Uh, just keep trying to get better. Probably another thing that kind of spoke to me about this team's depth was that Lazar, who placed you, took it starting line, didn't take his first shot until five minutes in the second half. I mean, he was such a key, you know, piece that they needed for offense so much last year. It doesn't take a shot until five minutes in the second half. And I know he's still going to be important for this team, but does that just speak to how much depth you guys have that a guy of that caliber, you know, is taking his first shot 25 minutes into the game? No, definitely. Uh, it not only shows the depth of this team, but it shows how selfish uh, Lazarus is. Um, you know, Lazarus played big minutes at every place he's played, especially last year. You know, he was one of the main guys, one of the key uh, focal points for his team. Two
to be able, uh, for him to be able to, you know, take it, uh, a step back, you know, and then kind of take a different role with this team, it's amazing just to see him do that. You know, he's got, he's got one of the best attitudes I've ever been around. So, you know, that's really huge for this team, you know, for people to, you know, unfortunately lose some of their playing time or some of their minutes and still have a great attitude, come to uh, practice every day, wanting to work and get better. I mean, that's, that's what's going to make this team great. It's just people like that. So, Laz has been amazing, and, you know, he's going to be uh, huge for us uh, throughout the entire season. Kobe, you talked about how Eric's hunger on defense kind of inspires you to play yeah. defense as well. How do you think that manifested itself, like, tonight and during the game? Definitely. Um, you know, me, me and Eric, you know, we like to play with our hands, so we like to get active. So anytime we can get a deflection or anything, we like to get out and get going, you know. I think we both love to play fast, love to get the ball and get get going. You know, we both get the rebounds, we both look up the floor and just try to, you know, play as fast as possible. You know, just be able to be on the floor with somebody that's, you know, wanting to play defense more than offense. Um, you know, it's definitely nice. You know, it's definitely a different uh, feeling to have. Uh, it's definitely a, a, you know, a relief in a way, you know, and that uh, you're not really the only guy out there, you know, focusing on primarily defense. And then one other question. Coach Cronin said you, you're leading the team in, in assists and practices when you guys chart it. Um, I know you played point guard a bit in high school. So where do you think that like knack for passing comes from? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm a hell of a passer. I just don't think I don't think uh, you know I showed it uh, to the full extent yet in college. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm still trying to you know show uh, show more to the world. But yeah, you know, in, in count, uh, practice, sorry. You know, I got the ball out of my hands, you know, I just like to find my shooters, you know, I like to find the open man, you know, I like to create for others. So as long as I like, keep doing that, I think it'll translate to the games. And uh, Tyler, what'd you think about the uh, minutes that Dai gave you guys off the bench tonight? Yeah, um, I think they're huge. Um, Adai, Adai's been working, working really hard uh, this off season, trying to get stronger, um, working with Coach Dave. Um, our strength guy, and he he's been doing great. Um, he was banged up a little bit this early, so he hasn't he hasn't been back, um, you know, practicing a whole lot. But uh, he's shown he's shown a lot of growth, and uh, you know he's going to be huge for us this year. So that's all we have time for. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you.